Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and I'm really optimistic about what I'm seeing as far as the storm track. We have a, a major storm cycle setting up across the west. I think the key time frame or period would be the 23rd through about the 1st of the new year. That time frame, that period of time, could feature not just one or two storms, but three, four, five different storms, all rotating in from a large trough of low pressure off the west coast. And I'm going to show you all this. We're going to start right here in Big Sky. This is up in Montana. You've got some flurries off and on. You can see Lone Mountain there in the background. I want to take you to um, a beautiful view up at Snowbird this morning. Look at that sunshine looking down Little Cottonwood Canyon into the Salt Lake Valley. Snowbird is one of the places I'm featuring on my snow plume. Uh, I, I think we could be looking at feet of snow accumulation by the first of the new year. Again, this, this key time frame of the 23rd through the 1st with all these storm systems lined up. Let me just kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at here. This is the, the satellite, uh, it's a water vapor imagery over the, uh, the Pacific, and so the reds and orange represent drier air aloft, whereas the whites, the blues, the greens are moisture moving aloft, and so it's easy to spot the storm systems. I want you to notice more than anything this dip in the storm track, the yellow. What we're doing is building a very large dip in the jet, a large dip a trough as it's called, the pressures are dropping in this area. This will become like an attractor. If you're familiar with some chaos theory, it'll become a, 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 an attractor in the atmosphere and all the other lows will move across up and over the high and then down into this trough. And this will eject waves of energy into California and then eventually into the interior. So everybody gets the snow over time, all benefiting because of this key feature in the atmosphere that's setting up just off the west coast. So let me just show you the uh, future position of this. This is the GFS interpretation. Let me take you into Wednesday morning. Not a lot happening in Colorado or uh, Utah and the Tetons, but snow up into parts of Idaho and the Pacific Northwest. All right, so Thursday morning, heavy snow in the Pacific Northwest. Here comes our storm. This, pushing, this is gonna push snow into Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and eventually Colorado between Thursday and Friday. Here we are on Christmas Eve, moderate to heavy snow. In Utah, Colorado, up into Wyoming, Idaho, the high Sierra. Look at the next low hitting the Pacific Northwest. This is an active pattern. Here we go on Saturday morning. Some of that is cleared, waiting for the next impulse, and it's hitting the West Coast. Here it comes by Sunday morning, the 26th. We've got snow back in Utah, back in the Tetons, back in Colorado, and then moving into the 27th, waiting on the next impulse. Here it comes from the West Coast. The snow gets blown into the interior, moving into Utah, the Tetons, Colorado. Why? I mean, all these places didn't get it. That's the, here's the 28th, next low hitting the West Coast. You get the picture of what I'm talking about. The 29th, here it comes, moving in. And this, this basically gives us snow all the way through the first, look at this storm coming into the, the desert Southwest on the 1st of January. This is a major storm cycle, folks. I mean, this is this is going to be significant. We are going to see high avalanche activity, and uh, out of this, uh, I just I don't see it any other way. We're going to break this forecast down as far as my totals into two phases, today through the 23rd. So we'll get to the main period, but this is what I'm looking at. So this is kind of appetizer type snow right here, from California into Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming. That's phase one. Um, and then look at phase two here, the magic period, right? 24th through the 28th. Uh, tomorrow I'll extend it all the way out to the first of the new year. I mean, the totals are just unbelievable. But look at the numbers in California. Um, two, you know, anywhere from two feet to four feet within that period. In Utah, about 40 inches across the Wasatch. In Colorado, one, two, three feet possible, obviously favoring the western slope ski areas in uh, Wyoming, uh, one to two, maybe three feet up there. And look at Bachelor, look at Timberline. Uh, this is going to be a significant period, any, uh, no matter how you slice it. Uh, and let me drill down. Here's my snow plume for Snowbird, and this is what I was talking about. Big snow, 23, 24, 25. Additional snows coming, 27, 28, 29, 30, into the first of the new year. So, uh, and the numbers just keep going. I mean, you're looking at, by the first 50, 60 inches up there throughout this, and that's a grand total of accumulation. Uh, and that's the kind of thing we're looking at there uh, in Little Cottonwood Canyon. So there you go. Again, very optimistic about what I'm seeing. I hope this pattern holds together, all courtesy of this very large trough of low pressure setting off the West Coast. So take care, and we'll do this again tomorrow.